camp. Granada! I know you're singing along. We are too. <laughs> Summer camp. Such a special time for kids to learn new skills, make new friends, but parents should keep a few things in mind before dropping the kids off. And so we brought in the experts to talk about it. Dr. Michael Ambrose, an emergency room pediatrician. You are also the founder of Doc Network. What is Doc Network? So Doc Network is an electronic health record system for summer camps and schools. Uh, I started the company when I was in medical school and this October will be 10 years in business. And you saw the need for this. We did. Um, camps uh, have kids that have lots of medical conditions that take lots of medications and everything had previously been, been done on pen and paper. And as the world was moving towards an electronic medical record system, camps needed to as well. You know, and, and there is so much of a focus when you start back to school in the fall on, you know, knowing the kids' allergies, making sure they have their medications, you know, with the school nurse or whatever. But you have to remember to have that due diligence before summer camp too. Yeah, it's so important. Um, communication is a two-way street and so important for families to share all of the relevant information with their camps um, before their kids go away to really make sure that kids are as healthy and safe as possible. Nice. And the two things that we really focus on are allergies and medications. That makes sense. Vaccines, of course. People really had their eyes opened this spring with the measles outbreak across the country and right here in Metro Detroit. What would you like to say about that? Yeah, so vaccine safety is cer certainly something that's very important and at top of mind for camps across the country. Um, it's very exciting that Oakland County um, announced the uh, end of the outbreak um, here in Metro Detroit, but it is still very much a, a, a real concern. Um, the CDC just announced that over a thousand cases of measles are now here in the U.S. And with summer travel and families uh, driving into other states, kids going to camps out of state, um, very important that families make sure their kids are fully vaccinated. And I would imagine there are some camps that will ask up front, you know, do your kids have all their vaccinations? Absolutely. There, we're starting to see a trend um, on the East Coast and here in the Midwest as well of camps that are requiring full vaccination. Um, and if your child is not fully vaccinated, there are, the, those children are often being turned away. And there are camps here in Metro Detroit doing that as well. So yeah, plan ahead. Now, some kids will go to day camps. Some kids will go to spend the night camps, but a lot of kids, especially if it's their first time away, there's that homesickness thing. And while it might not be physical, maybe more emotional, how can parents deal with that? Yeah, so homesickness is certainly very real, whether it be a sleepaway camp or a day camp. Um, any kid can experience it, and there's actually been a lot of research done on homesickness. So making sure that your child is well prepared and actively partakes um, in the selection of camp, preparing for camp, really important. And so important. Third. Along with the sunscreen hats and all that stuff. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Ambrose. You. We really appreciate you. Thank